The Morton Escape is up there. Unfortunately, they don't have they don't have storage. And guess who contacted me while I was on my way back? Uncle Thomas. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> okay, it's been a while, but he's back now. It's Uncle Thomas after such a hiatus. Hi, <laughs> so Uncle Thomas just came back. He was um, uh, he actually contacted me yesterday. <laughs> yep. Hello from my new Chromebook. Yep. He actually now has a Chromebook. Luckily, he got it delivered. Um, what was it? Yesterday or something? Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know what's funny? I ordered one Chromebook. I bought one. And they sent me two. Two so Chromebooks. Oh wow, how about that? How a free Chromebook sold. <laughs> nice. Quite generous actually. That they gave him an extra Chromebook. So that he can make a bit of money. A bit of dollars. <laughs> yes. See, so might as well say I just got a Chromebook for free. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Mm, that's exactly right. He got a Chromebook for free, Islanders. From Walmart. From Walmart. Yes, yeah, shout out to the Walton family that obviously founded Walmart. And if you and the people in Australia don't know who what Walmart is, it's a uh, it's a store here in America. Yeah, it's an Ameri it's an American mart, pretty much. America, Canada, a couple other places. Yep. Yeah. They need to bring it to Australia. Yeah, they haven't brought it to Australia. That's because we got stores like the Reject Shop and Kmart. You guys have Kmart over there? Yeah. It's it's owned by uh Kmart. Wes Farmers. That's where I, that's where I, that's where I got that um the you know the cabinet? You know you know that um you know that storage cabinet from the Psychohead Storage Assembly freak out? Yeah. That was from Kmart Australia. Huh. Kmart over here is uh, abandoned now. It's out, it's out of business. Actually, no. There's only three more Kmart in the continental United States. Really? Yeah. There's nine Kmart locations left. Three of them in the continental United States and the other six in the United States territories. Huh. So there's six Kmarts left. Well, outside the continental United States, there's another six U.S. Kmart's outside of it. Hey, yeah. what about uh, Toys R Us? Did Toys R Us ever come back? It's, they said they were returning in Australia in partnership with Hobby Warehouse, but nothing else has been but nothing else has been done about that. Besides, I think Toys. Besides, I think Toys R Us. I don't think it's ever coming back to Australia. I think Toy Mate. Has actually kind of taken over and dominated. Not America, do you know? No, oh, yeah, there's one in the United States. There's one in the uh, the American Dream Mall. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep, the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. That's the only Toys R Us location that I know of. Sometime T um, Tanner is supposed to uh, Bluetooth me a uh, video he downloaded. It's a, a YTP of the Wiggles. <laughs> of of which which lineup? It's a, it's like a cartoon of them, but they're in a hospital, and he pulls out a baby and goes, "Blue Wiggle." I thought it was supposed to be a yellow Wiggle. He goes, "The, the blue Wiggle goes." Well, well, hang on, which I lineup is it, Uncle Thomas? Thomas? There, there's, there's been like, there's like four different lineups uh, ever since the very beginning. I don't know. There, there's the, there's the OG lineup, which was from 1990 to 2006. There's the OG lineup with Sam Moran, uh, which ran from 2006 to 2012. There's the 2013 lineup with Emma, and then there's the current lineup with Sahai. 
this is the one with Emma. She's laying in a hospital bed. He pulls out a blue wiggle, and he goes, and the yellow wiggle goes, it's supposed to be a yellow wiggle. And the blue wiggle goes, well, I guess it's time for me to chug a chug and get the f out of here. Oh, so, so it's the 2013 lineup. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, look! There's um, there's one of the uh, one of the twins. Tanner. Are you staying home tomorrow? Yeah. Yep. So there you have it, Islanders. The weird Uncle Thomas is here. <laughs> yep. So what have you gotten up to, Uncle Thomas? Oh, not much. Just chilling out. Been excited to get my new computer. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the pictures on Facebook um, regarding that. And he, he actually made an Angry Uncle skit yesterday, which I reacted to, Islanders. And I might take a picture of my new Chromebook and show everybody, got my new computer <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah, good idea. I think that might be good, actually. But, yes, yeah, so it's a really good Chromebook, Islanders. And Uncle Thomas has got better internet, too, to go with that. Oh, yes. Yeah, because we remember when he had the Chromebook before, and he had terrible 2G internet at Indiana. It was like 10 megabit. Hey, could someone turn off that music, please? You're going for copyright infringement. Hey, can you turn it down? We're recording an episode of Iron Life. Can you turn it down just a little bit? Yeah, it's just that we don't want to risk copyright infringement, that's all. Yeah. Especially especially when I'm recording Island Life. Yeah, that would suck. I'm going to take these headphones off and put this up. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Now Uncle Thomas can hear, can see us, and hear us. <laughs> Especially with you, Uncle. Headphones when you have them on for a long, long, like over two, a couple hours, like they start hurting your ears. Yeah, they do. They actually do. That's why I have earphones. Cause they're way better, and they don't hurt your ears like headphones. Yep. The, Big too. The puppy, yeah. It's Nino. <laughs> yep. He's getting heavy. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah, we can we can tell. We can tell he's getting heavy. He's growing. Yeah. He's a uh, he's a part he's part pit bull and part bull terrier. Oh, so he's a pit bull and a pit bull and pit bull carrier. Okay. All right, Islanders. I think you've seen him long enough. See you, Islanders, later. Well, what a day it's been. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I found a few things that were going on in my day. Um, I won't go into detail about it, <clears throat> but tomorrow is Good Friday. And this weekend we're going over to Vicky Point on Saturday. So I can get my picture with the Easter Bunny. <laughs> this year Island Life has an Easter Bunny and without it, ain't no doubt that that Easter Bunny is me. <laughs> That's right Islanders. You're going to be seeing the return of me as the Easter Bunny this year. And yeah, that's that's that. I'm so I'm so honored to obviously become the Island Life Easter Bunny. <laughs> Following the family footsteps pretty much. <laughs> I know a few people who are actually Easter Bunnies in my family. <laughs> and I happen to be the next one to take on that uh, to take that Oh, no. <laughs>
to do so. <laughs> so you continue on the legacy. Um, yeah, I'm not sure for how much longer though. With things that have been going around hectic lately. <laughs> um, so yeah, tomorrow's Friday. We're looking forward to that. I'm not sure what we'll do. We'll probably explore. I'm not even sure myself. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Island Life Living in Poverty. Leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you Islanders tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.